Racing. Formula dwelt, missed at three quarters. Whistler just a fraction slow and shy hero bounced out in front from the high rolling. Beat the fade in the third posse, followed by the Golden Dane. Formula picking up lost ground. A couple of lengths to Hutt and then Chaverney de Cash Chattanooga, followed by Tiger Eye Whistler. Bulkhead second last at about two and a half to Coliseum. They join the course proper and shy hero is the leader at the 9.50. A length on Formula, high rolling third. Beat the fade fourth in the centre and the Golden Dane wider out is next and two Thanks to Whistler, who's going up on the inside, followed closely then by Chaverney and De Hutt. A little more than a length away then to Bulkhead on the inside of De Cash, Chattanooga. Tiger Eye is second last and Coliseum is the tail end. A 6.50 left to go. And Shy Hero a length on Formula. The fence is high rolling. Wider out is beat the fade and then the Golden Dane to Whistler, followed by Hutt, Chaverney, hard ridden. And the others headed by Bulkhead as they come round the home corner. 400 metres left to go. Shy Hero in front beat the fade goes to second. High rolling angling for the run. Then Formula two lengths. The Golden Dane struggling and Bulkhead heads the remainder at the 200. Shy Hero tackled by Beat the Fade and Beat the Fade and Shy Hero two lengths clear. Bulkhead on the outside but Beat the Fade on the outside. Gained the upper hand from Shy Hero. Bulkhead coming home well but Beat the Fade wins it. Beat the Fade from a photo Bulkhead or Shy Hero. And then came the Golden Dane followed by High Rolling Hut. Two or three chatter then Whistler Coliseum, Chaverney de Cash, Tiger Eye, and Formula last to complete the course. Number 12 wins the first on this marvellous day of racing. 12 beat the fade, 672.59. Bulkhead to return $3 even and 5. Shy Hero, 640. Wales Tote has paid $7 the win and $2.50 for the place. And the judge will look at the computer image to determine the second and third placings with the horses going across the line, beat the fade having a margin of about a half length on either bulkhead or shy hero. No numbers up at the moment. Beat the fade is a three-year-old bay filly by Maroof from Dawn Run, is trained by Bart Cummings for A.T. Jackson, M.J. Coop, P.H. Acton, C. Carter, G. Pappas, D.J. Brownell and M.A. Joyner She's only had the 12 starts for two wins. She's had two seconds and two thirds. And that great combination of John Marshall and Bart Cummings winning the first on the card. No numbers up, but number 12 has got there, but it will be a very close go for second and third between Shy Hero and Bulkhead. Number five is second, that is Shy Hero, written by Justin Sheehan. And number nine, Bulkhead is third, written by Danny Nikolic. The runner up to pay $5.80. The third, number nine, will pay $3.20. Quinella $74.70. Exact is $110.80. And the trifecta $1,226.40. The time for the first was 1.22.31. 1.22.31. On this good track, it's a very good effort. That'll be a race record, the first running under the conditions and journey. The track record's 121.14. So this course proper today in magnificent order. All right, Johnny Marshall's won the first on Beat the Fade as we check the margins and the sectional details. It was a long neck by a short half head. 122.31 of the last 635.14, and here it takes. stalls are back there racing uh, they came out in a pretty good line too happy summer won the start landed in front here from on the outside going for Darahim. strike forces up third early followed by sedation followed by freeman huntingfield the inside and two to carolina moon one and a half finger last of all a good clip in the early part of the race here and happy summer backs off the speed a length and a half Darahim second a length and a half further back strike force huntingfield the inside back in the middle there is freeman a length further back sedation he's back outside carolina moon and two to finger last of all coming down the Side. 850 out happy summer three quarters Darahim the outside two lengths for the back hunting field strike force caught three wide back in the middle Freeman two to sedation covering up Carolina moon and two to finger last of all 600 out happy summer about a neck in front now from on the outside Darahim strike force is forced to cover ground running up to third a half further back then hunting field Freeman lost some ground sedation five lengths from them Carolina moon inside it and last of all finger on the turn happy summer a half in front of Darahim they got two and a half strike 
strike force. Hunting Field Freeman and Sedation still five or six off them with Carolina Moon. Happy Summer at the 300 metre mark. Drew a length in front now from Darahim, who's trying to pick up the leader. Three further back in the race, then Freeman. Sedation with a late run starting to run on. It's Happy Summer from Darahim and Sedation pegging them back. Out wide, Happy Summer, Darahim. Sedation on the outside. Darahim hit the lead. Well, might have just won, Darahim. From Sedation, not much in it. Possibly Darahim, Sedation, close third. Happy Summer, the inside from Freeman. Then Finger for the back hunting field, followed by Carolina Moon, who didn't come on, and Strike Force last of all. Photo to Darahim, 390-150 or one sedation, 380-160. Prominent for third, six happy summer, 180. Margins, Newcastle, four lengths, two and a quarter. Four. Okay, number two, Darahim, if it gets it there, to return $4.150, one sedation. If it happened to get it, 360170 and six happy summer mentioned for third at two dollars. Darahim's got it. From one sedation and third to number six, happy summer two one six. Two one six at Caulfield two one six in one twenty four sixty one. All right, they're at the barrel. We'll be going to the uh, Gold Coast shortly. The National Racing Service, Triple S F M as we take set. Race one Oak Bank two thousand. And they're racing. The carnival begins. And Shea Spice, one of the best to begin. Blevix Pride was out fast. Integrity Prevails was showing speed. Prince of Revelry being ridden up nearer the inside from Indota. Then Strawberry the inside from Thunder Creek. And Gold Millennium was last of all. They run towards the 800 and Shea Spice took up the front running. Shea Spice and she sprinted away to lead by two as they prepare to come down the hill. Blevix Pride was second. Integrity Prevails third around Prince of Revelry. Indota now being asked to go forward from Strawberry. Then Thunder Creek and Gold Millennium was last of all. Shea Spice, she's done it well early. Leads by just over a length up towards the bend at the 400 metre mark. Blevix Pride was second. Integrity prevails third. In Dota off the track. Then Prince of Revelry, Strawberry. Gold Millennium and Thunder Creek at the 300. Lever now asking Shea Spice for the big effort. She put two on Blevix Pride. Two to Integrity prevails. Then Prince of Revelry, but Shea Spice, she's home in the two-year-old. She's clear of Blevix Pride. Then Integrity prevails, Strawberry. Strawberry late, but Shea Spice, what a debut. Shea Spice bolts in, wins by five. Blevix Pride second, Integrity prevails third, Strawberry fourth. Uh, then Prince of Revelry, in Dota was next from Gold Millennium, and last in was Thunder Creek. Number eight, Shea Spice takes out the first. And she has run right up to her eye-catching trial here two weeks ago. Number eight. Number eight, Shea Spile. She trialled brilliantly here two weeks ago. That day she jumped, led, and scooted away from her rivals to win easily. And it was a case of deja vu here on race day. Again. All righty, thank you very much, Terry. Now, uh, Ramwick, and uh, they're on... Racing. Great start. Kamina jumped reasonably well. Actually, verdict declared from a wide alley is the early leader, commencing very, very quickly. Rippling Mill right up there. Arthur's Lass followed by Spinning Hill. And then Shalt Not and Kamina and Snippets Lass are making ground together, followed by Fairy Tales. A little more than a length, another Misty. And then comes August Queen and Marty's Magic over on the inside is Heather. A length and a half further off in the field is Venticello. Prenuptial well back and so is Dame Cath and Watt Fun, followed by Brief Kiss over on the inside inside. Fortunata's last. 600 left to go. Rippling Mill from Verdict declared Arthur's last third. And then Snippet's last followed on the outside. Spinning Hill shalt not come either. A length and a half further back in the field as they come round the corner. Another Misty. Heather's over on the rails and then Fairy Tales followed by Marty's Magic and August Queen. Rippling Mill. Well in the straight and down to the 250. A length clear. Spinning Hill races to second from Verdict declared Snippet's last. And then comes Kamina followed by Heather and Arthur's last. But Spinning Hill hit 
hits the front on the inside snippets last fighting back clear of Kamina on the outside it's spinning hill and nose in front Heather rushing home but spinning hill spinning hill from a tight finish snippets last with Heather Kamina fourth the outside and then a gap on the inside for Janata Arthur's last and rippling mill who weakened then another misty prenuptial shelf not followed by fairy tales Venticello verdict declared Marty's magic August Queen Dame Kath and the last two brief kiss in company with what fun 10 spinning hill to return 662 40 two snippets last 390 17 heather 430 Jane Dye and the familiar red with a white cap number 10 spinning hill in New South Wales six dollars 80 and 250 could go for minus here snippets last and heather got right up on the inside and it's pretty close for the minus number two is second snippets less and number 17 is third and that is heather 10 to 17 the runner-up has paid four dollars 40 the third seven dollars 30. the new south wales quinella pays 68 dollars 10. the exact error at 121 dollars and the trifecta three thousand and six dollars 40. number nine the favorite kamina was the official fourth place getter the winner spinning hill by Dolphin Street from Incline, a three-year-old bay filly. She's had ten starts for three wins, two seconds and a third. She's trained by Guy Walter for Mr. Sandy Tate and his sister, Mrs. Jill Neverson. Of course, the tie the knot connection involved with this Dolphin Street filly, Spinning Hill. And, of course, Shane Dye, naturally the rider. Scored officially by a neck, a short head second and the third. So we've had two ripping races in the first two of the afternoon. And the time here was 109.79. The... Uh, race record was established on a heavy track at 112.38 so spinning hills the new race record holder here and 109.79 her time the sectionals the first 635.04 the last 634.75 carry Stalls are back. She flew the gate again today, Queen, and landed a length in front here. From on the outside, travelling forward, Mrs. Tendilka and Star of Brocco. From the outside, Dan's Parade with Al Haru when they settle down. But Queen scampers up on the inside to share the lead with Dan's Parade. A length and a half further back, Al Haru from further back, Gold Duo. Star of Brocco outside it. Over on the inside, Flash Trash. Mrs. Tendilka on the outside, further back there from Zorica's Edge. They're followed well back by Gondwana. On the outside of it, Miss Bikini, two to Drury's Classic at last of all forward looking queen on the inside 650 out a half length dance parade a length and a half to al hurra up on the outside third three quarters in gold duo fourth from star of brocco mrs tandorka six to the outside three lengths off them two for the back flash trash miss bikini god one and well back drury's classic zorica's edge and forward looking straightening up queen held together three quarters dance parade and she travels well in front two lengths for the back gold duo into the clear from mrs tandorka he has to shake her up with the 200 queen she's two in front of dance parade Mrs. Tandorka starting to pick up ground out in the centre. Queen's got a big lead. She's three in front. Mrs. Tandorka coming out after her. Queen with a 58. A great effort in front. And Queen all the way by a length and a half, Mrs. Tandilka. Three quarters third dance parade. A gap to gold duo. Then flash trash. Miss Bikini star of Brocco. Drury's classic. Al Harua dropped out from the turn from Zorica's edge. Well back in the race forward looking. And Godwater is last of all. One Queen, two forty, one forty for Mrs. Tendorka, one sixty, eight dance parade, eight dollars ten. One Queen, two fifty, one forty for Mrs. Tendorka, one seventy, eight dance parade, seven fifty. And one ten seven one. One ten seven one. Number one, number four is second, and that's Mrs. Tendorka and third eight dance parade. One four eight in this race, race number two. Solid favourite Queen in the market. By oh, gee, she's good out of the traps, out of the boxes. She, she probably jumped three quarters of a length in front. I think the same applied here at Caulfield when she went over the uh, 1100. She flew the gate. She's just a professional little racehorse, this filly. That's correct, Wade. Newcastle 4613, about to move in at the coast. Caulfield on the second one, four and eight. Queen, 240. And they're just about set now. 13 jumps in front of them. First comes up at the 900 on the first round, and they're away in racing. 
And they're on their way here with He's Ideal, one of the best to begin. Ben Nevis going forward with Trigger Happy. Also showing some speed was Sir Gus with Lady Woodrow as they head down towards the first jump. Olaf is settling a bit worse than midfield. Behind him then we had Real Zeal. Northern Oka getting back and back with it was just Jake. They head towards the jump at the 800 metre mark on the first round and He's Ideal was the front runner. Leads by a bit over a length to the only mare in the race, Lady Woodrow running second as they head towards the next jump at the 650 metre mark on the first round. He's ideal jumping beautifully in front went over that like a bird led by three and a half as they come down the hill the first time lady woodray was second ben never stirred sir gus was fourth then the favorite olaf he settled beautifully here for grant young in fifth spot on his outside was real zeal a length and a half to trigger happy then northern ochre and back last of all was the tasmanian horse just jake here's the first of four in the home straight the first time and he's ideal the front runner he comes to the one at the 350 meter mark and went over it cleverly leads from lady woodray Moving forward, Ben Nevis on the outside, then Sir Gus. Olaf was next as they go to the woods for the next jump. On the outside of Olaf then was uh, Real Zeal. Then Just Jake, Trigger Happy and Northern Oka. They go over the one right in front of the grandstand and pass the judge with a round left to go. Another jump coming up at the mile mark. Then they'll head out behind the hill where Brenton Yates will pick up the call. But the front runner here was He's Ideal. Leads by a bit over a length to Ben Nevis second, Lady Woodrow third. Then Olaf, Sir Gus. Real Zeal was next behind it, Trigger Happy Northern Ochre and Just Jake. Deal still in front as they come around the turn of the 1400 metre mark. He's ideal, leads out by three quarters to Ben Nevis. A length and a half to Lady Woodrow. Olaf's enjoyed the gun run. He's back on the inside, running fourth from Sir Gus. They were being followed by Real Zill as they come to the jump by the 1200. Behind him in turn came Northern Oka. Real Zill, he wrapped that one. They were followed by Just Jake, then came Trigger Happy. They run inside the 1200. And Ben Nevis has taken over. A length and a half on He's ideal from Lady Woodrow and Olaf. Three quarters the outside, Sir Gus. They were followed by Real Zeal. Then came Northern Oka from Just Jake and Trigger Happy last of all as they run to the thousand. This was the first jump on the first round and heading down towards it, the front runner was Ben Nevis. Ben Nevis led by two and a half to He's Ideal second, Lady Woodrow third. Olaf now being asked to go forward by Grant Young and he's responding the favourite. He quickly now moves to second. He's after Ben Nevis as they go over that jump at the 800 metre mark. Getting to fourth, Real Zeal making ground. Then Lady Woodrow. They go towards the jump now at the 650 metre mark. This is the third last and the favourite Olaf quickly sprinted to the lead. Olaf raced away. He's going like a winner if he jumps the last two. He sprinted four lengths in front of Ben Nevis. He's run his race. Real Zeal, the stable mate, now running past him. Then he's ideal. Sir Gus, Northern Oka, Lady Woodrow, Just Jake, Trigger Happy. But up towards the home bend, two jumps remaining. You'd think he'd only have to stand up the favourite Olaf. He's four in front. Real Zeal has pulled some ground off him. Here's the second last. Olaf jumped it well. He's three in front. Real Zeal running a big race. They're at the 200. Clear of Sir Gus. Here's the last. Olaf comes to it. Oh, he's over it beautifully. He's home, Olaf. The second favourite racing away from Real Zeal. Then Sir Gus and Ben Nevis. But Olaf goes on to score at his jumping debut by four and a half. Real Zeal second, Sir Gus third, Ben Nevis fourth, Northern Oka fifth, then he's ideal. Uh, just Jake next to finish with Trigger Happy. Lady Woodrow's been pulled out of the race. She didn't jump the last two or three, and she's just ambling up the home straight now. All righty, 10, 3 and 9 there, so uh, 260 for uh, Olive there. John Hawke's training uh, hurdling. He, uh, hurdling winners now, so he's got everything. Yeah, OK, now let's look at Devonport race two. Braydor is at 5.40. Racing. The New Zealand filly Spotswood came out well. Keener likewise with Coco Cabana, Stella Marie and Fly by Night. Good tussle for the lead. And then Go You Beauty followed by Avilda, Dotteressa, Kirk Stolane, Gilded Angel. And then Dot the Eyes, Scarlet Air from Circus Act. And Life Goes On, I was last of all. By golly, it's keen for the lead as they worked at the crossing at the 1600. And Coco Cabana just leads Stella Marie from Fly by Night. And then Go You Beauty, Keener followed by Avilda, very wide out. A gap then to Spotswood, Dotteressa, Dot the Eyes, Kirk, Stolane, Gilded Angel, then Circus Act, followed by Scarlet Air, and Life Goes On, oh, whips them in as they run down the back of the track, and Avilda goes to the lead. A length on Go You Beauty, third is Dotteressa, a length and a half to Stella Marie around Coco Cabana. One further back is Spotswood, and then comes Fly By Night, who's parked on the inside of Keener. Two lengths to Kirk, Stolane, and then comes Dot the Eyes, the inside, two and a half, then Circus Act. Followed on its outside, a half length away, Gilded Angel, Life 
life goes on oh second last and Scarlet Air is the tail ender. On the side of the track they run along past the 900 marker and De Vilda shows the way. Dotter S is a length and a half second. Third the inside one of the New Zealanders Go You Beauty and spots with another Kiwi filly is poised fourth. Then Stella Marie Coco Cabana Keener followed by Kirk's Delane who's making some ground a little more than a length the Gilded Angel and then comes Fly By Night on the inside. Water out is Circus Act and then Dot the Eyes. Life goes on oh second last and Scarlet Air is the trailer. A Vilda leads in the Adrian Knox as they swing around the Randwick home corner a length on Dotteressa. Spotswood in the third position about to be wound up by Brian York then Kirk Stellane, Stella Marie and Coco Cabana's a long way back. Dotteressa raced up to a Vilda to put the head in front down to the 220. Two to Spotswood immediately under pressure from Kirk Stellane but Jimmy Cassidy drives Dotteressa away. A hundred to go on the Adrian Knox. It's all Dotteressa. Second to Vilda from Kirk's to Lane, but Dotteressa, a great winner. Dotteressa has beaten the Vilda and Kirk's to Lane from Spotswood fly by night. Life goes on oh, Coco Cabana, Keena, Stella Marie, Gilded Angel, and then Scarlet Air Circus Act, followed by Dot the Eyes, and tailed off was Go You Beauty. A big win, Dotteressa. Number five, Dotteressa wins the Adrian Knox, the San Miguel Adrian Knox, 7, 60 and 2.30. Nine of Vilda, 6, 10 and 7, Kirkstall Lane will pay $3.70. Lovely filly, Dotteressa, trained by Steve Engelbrecht. And of course, the colours will be carried by Jimmy for Steve and owners on referral in the San Miguel Doncaster a little later in the afternoon. Dotteressa, a brown or black filly, a three-year-old by Dr. Grace from Sweet Refrain. Raced by J.M. Coburn, J. Vartuli, J. Anastasio, G. Machetti, V. Carrillo, R.L. Willis and E.J. Gillis. As I say, trained at Warwick Farm by Steve Engelbrecht and written by Jimmy Cassidy. So two of the three winners this afternoon come out of Warwick Farm. The second is number nine, a Vilda, trained by John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy, a filly by Grand Lodge. And number seven, Kirk Stillane, proving her second to Hill of Grace in the answer at Rose Hill. Last Saturday was no fluke. And uh, she's trained by Kerry Parker at Kembla Craig Carmody. Fourth went to number three. And uh, that was spots with the winning margin, a comfortable two and a half lengths, a half a length between second and third. The time was well outside the race record at 2.05.44. The sectional is the first thousand in 63.32 and the last 635. 81. So that was an easy win by Don. 50, Peter Gina leads. About a length, Intelligent. Camargo's third from Lady Marion on the rails and Lone Cypress out three wide. Two lengths further back is Penny Arcade, a length and a half to Swanet and then Peekaboo and Mirror Image last of all. About 900 to go and Peter Gina almost a length up on Intelligent second. Lone Cypress moving up wide to third. Camargo's in the centre and Lady Marion's on the rail. Two lengths to Penny Arcade, about two and a half behind those is Swanet and she's trailed by Peekaboo and two to Mirror Image. Heading up the side now near the 600 metres and Pitagina in front of Intelligent and Kamarg with Lone Cypress out wide. She's been deep the whole trip. A length and a half away, Lady Marion fifth on the rail before the turn. There's Swanette starting a run from Penny Arcade, Peekaboo and uh, Mirror Image is falling's last car get out of her own way today. As they corner Pitagina in front of Intelligent, Kamarg swung a bit wide on the turn and Lady Marion's got a run through to go after these leaders. Pitagina with Intelligent coming at her and then Lady Marion down the outside is Swanette, Kamarg. Mark can't go on and then peekaboo intelligent with 120 to go the leader but Lady Marion's coming home well Lady Marion moved up to intelligent took the lead now Lady Marion's got her head in front a soft ride and Lady Marion wins it by a head to intelligent over two lengths one in third placing